In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for Zn plus CuSO4, zinc plus copper 2 sulfate. When I look at this equation here, I see I've got a metal all by itself here, and then a different metal all by itself over here. That's kind of making me think this will be a single displacement or a single replacement reaction. In a single displacement reaction, this metal here comes in and it pushes the copper out. So the copper is all by itself here, and now the zinc, it's bonded to the sulfate. So we get zinc sulfate, single replacement reaction. Let's take a look at this table here of common types of chemical reactions. So if we look at the table here, single replacement right here, and this is the general kind of formula for a single replacement reaction. The metal comes in, pushes the other metal out, and now it's bonded to the sulfate, and then that other metal, the copper here, is all by itself. We can tell if a single displacement reaction is going to take place by looking at the activity series of the metals. So we have our activity series here, and we look down, and here's zinc, and then we're looking for copper, which is way down here. So as we go up, they're more reactive. So zinc is more reactive than copper. That means zinc can push copper out and then bond to the sulfate, and then the copper is all by itself. Single displacement reaction. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for Zn plus CuSO4. Thanks for watching.